Panthers, welcome to this week's Coaches Show. I'm Fletcher Newman here with Coach Tennyson to discuss the girls' basketball team's upcoming season. Coach, you have played a couple of scrimmages already and now into regular season play. So how do you see your team shaping together this year so far? Well, uh, we've had uh, some adversity already. Uh, we're currently 7-4, and four, had a big win against Colleyville Heritage last night. Um, but we've had some adversity uh, with some injuries here. Um, and so we're kind of having to reshuffle roles around and figure those out before we get uh, into the district race. So um, it's, we pride ourselves on toughness and these kids are, are stepping up and, and playing and performing at higher and higher levels. So it's fun to watch. Uh, last year, you had a great season and came out in third in a very close district battle. So how do you think this year's team will fare in district play? I still expect a district championship. We're going to be in the hunt for a district championship. Um, even with losing Kiera uh, out of our starting lineup uh, due to injury, um, we still have the talent and the depth to go compete and win a district championship. So the expectation is still there. Um, the other young ladies are stepping up, and so we have a great shot. I think it'll come down between us and Red Oak. Um, and so those will, that expectation is still there. Now, y'all are predicted to have a deep run this year. Is there any pressure for y'all hearing the expectations for this season? Um, no. I think uh, with us, and we try to set the stage that we set the expectations for ourselves. Um, we're flattered by the outside uh, influences, the Roy Report and the Coaches Association um, being ranked or starting the year ranked in the top 25. And uh, the Roy Report, we were ranked six in the state, number one in the region. Um, but those are flattering because the kids have done the work. Um, but nobody's going to have a higher expectation than us and our team. And so we, we have high expectations for the year. And these kids are learning through adversity and, and stepping up. And we'll, we'll see how we, how we do. Now what's the most exciting thing about this year's team? Our speed. Uh, we play fast. We play hard. Um, we've got depth. We've got multiple options. Uh, that anybody's night can step up and it's kind of seen in our scoring since Kiera's gone out. Uh, different kids are stepping up every night. Um, they just play hard. They play together. They like each other. Um, and you see that chemistry coming out when we play. What's the big goal in mind for this season? Honest, uh, honestly, a district championship. Uh, 1986 was the last time that the girls team has won a district championship here in girls basketball. Uh, so our goal is to, to get that changed um, and then to, to see where we go. It's seven games to a state championship. And so these kids uh, have the toughness. They have the talent. Um, and you got to have a little bit of luck when it comes to playoffs. Uh, and so from there, you know, anything can happen. And so obviously the first thing that we want to accomplish is that district championship. And then that will open the door for our playoff run. Uh, we have some players with us here today. So, Coach, can you tell us a little about who's here? I have Kiara Milton, a junior. Uh, she's been a, a starter on our varsity for, for three years now. Um, had to face a little bit of adversity here uh, with, out with a knee injury, but uh, uh, she's a great player and a great person. And so, and then also another junior, Landry Schreier. Uh, she's our defensive stopper, leader, uh, point guard. I've uh, been a starter on varsity now for two years, and so have high expectations for her as well. All right, let's visit with them. First, we have Kiara Middleton. Kiara, congratulations on surpassing 1,000 points as a Panther. How much work do you have to put in to get to that level of success? Um, well, to say the least, a lot. Um, during the summer and during the spring, I'm always in the gym trying to improve my game. Um, I'm never satisfied. Um, I'm always watching basketball and watching different like clips online and stuff like that and so I'm always trying to see how I can improve my skills and better my team. Now coach has been talking about how you're facing a lot of adversity this season because of your injury but what are you doing to impact your team even when you're sidelined because of your injury? Um, it's important to cheer and kind of give the team energy while we're playing and before the games and also help some of our new players when they're struggling a little bit, but for the most part, yeah, just trying to be an encourager. So what are some things that you think uh, the team needs to improve on throughout the season to get to the level that you want to be at? 
Um, just staying aggressive throughout the entire game, and defensively and offensively, and most of all, just playing hard. I mean, we already play hard, but just just to continue. We also have Landry Schreier with us today. Uh, Landry, can you tell us a little about the game that y'all played last night? Um, well, we started off a little rough, but towards the end, we ended up coming together and pulling off it, pulling it off as a team. Um, you saw a lot of character come out between each individual on the team, so it, it was really good. What are you most looking forward to this season? Um, the team bonding. I think that this year we're a lot closer than we've been before, so I'm excited for that, and I'm excited for just the levels that we're going to achieve together as a team. So, What's one of the biggest things that you've improved on over the offseason? Um, I never, I was, wasn't able to shoot very well, but I've improved on my shooting um, throughout open gyms this summer and weight room. It's, it's been helpful. Thanks, guys. Coach, what do you think the biggest obstacle to overcome this season will be? Uh, being more consistent. Uh, we have a lot of depth. I've got Hallie Mayfield as a senior that's become a, a, a great contributor to our team. Uh, she's filling a void playing out of position for us. Uh, and that she's taken on a post position and she's doing a great job at it. Uh, I've got Jerrica who's our sharpshooter um, and, and leads the team in assist and, and another steady hand because she's been on varsity now for three years. Those two kids have been on varsity for three years. Uh, and then I got some youth. I've got uh, Kadia Ward and Elise Jones that are freshmen. Uh, they're having to get used to strategy. They're having to get used to the speed of the game. Um, and, and so there's some, some, a little bit of growing pains because we're really leaning on those kids. Uh, obviously, M Michaela Jackson is one of our best athletes, best all-around players. Uh, she leads us right now in scoring and rebounding. Um, we got Landry's a defensive uh, stopper. Um, I mean, so the kids are really embracing their roles and what they can bring to the team. They're also adding additional things to our team. Um, and so now we're just playing more consistent uh, in our execution. And so uh, it's, a, it's a fun group. They play hard um, and they win the games within the games. Those are our focus every game. Uh, and so it's just compete. And these kids are competitors. Um, and, and so we've got, we've got some depth uh, with, with our team. So I'm excited. There's some great senior leadership on the team right now, but what are they doing to impact the team in a positive way? Uh, we always talk about the energy we bring, uh, and so they're doing a great job. They, they're doing all the little things. Uh, I talked about Hallie Mayfield playing out of position this year and embracing that role. Uh, we really don't have a true center um, back to the basket player, and she's kind of taking that on. And, you know, she's, she's averaging 8, 10, 12 points a game and usually 6 seven, eight rebounds. Um, and so that's a huge impact and a void that we have to fill. Um, and then Jerrica. Jerrica is a sharp shooter. She's a steady hand. Uh, when we have our youth lineup, our younger kids on the floor, she's another steady hand that can help us keep our composure. Um, and so just really challenging those guys to step up and be more vocal. You had a great win against Carville Heritage last night. What were some of your takeaways from that game? Uh, last night we learned how to win ugly. Uh, we didn't execute very well uh, initially, um, but the kids found a way to make plays and pull it out. Um, it was 16 to 15 at, at half, uh, and so we struggled offensively to really get things going from the start, uh, but they rebounded in the second half, and we finally broke it open right at the beginning of the fourth quarter uh, and had them down at 1.17 but finished with a 13-point win. Can you take us through a couple of the big plays in that game? Uh, I think uh, one of the plays that stands out to me is on a, a free throw. Uh, we get an and one, so we're going to the line for a free throw, and Elise Jones gets an offensive rebound and a put back, which puts us up four. Um, that was a great play. Um, Michaela getting a, a couple steals in the, in the fourth that opened it up, and we got some quick layups. Um, those are plays in the fourth, right at the beginning of the fourth quarter, that kind of opened up the game for us. Uh, we got them down quick in about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Uh, then we were able to spread them out and use our speed to, to finish out the game and complete the game. 
Uh, but those right now stick out in my mind because that's when the game changed and we took the lead for good. All so. right. Well, that wraps this week's edition of the Coaches Show. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks to Coach Tennyson, Kiara Middleton, and Landry Schreier for being here. The Lady Panthers' next game will be this Friday against IMG Academy. So we hope to see you there, and we'll see you next week.